guys, in this video, I'm going to show you five easy ways to make the MT-15 crush. I just want to get the most brutal tone that I can out of it. So let's get started. All right, so tip number one, boost it. I mean, you gotta boost this amp. You gotta boost most amps to get them to sound really brutal and have a great crushing tone. So now I'm just gonna show you what the amp sounds like without the boost, and then I'm gonna kick the boost on and show you how much better it sounds with it. And it's actually gonna feel better with it on as well. So look right over here in the corner. If the boost is on, then you will see it in the picture. If it's off, it won't be there. Alright, so as you heard, it sounds a lot more aggressive with the boost and the feel was a lot better too. The amp was a lot more responsive. So while we're on the topic of boosting the amp, here's a quick tip on how to really enhance the tone of the amplifier with the boost. Now a lot of us will keep our tone knob right in the center, you know, top dead center, 12 o'clock noon, whatever you want to call it. And that's just where most people keep it. Now that's fine, but this amp is a little on the dark side and, you know, Depending on the amp, your pickups, and all that other stuff too, you might want to do this on all your amps. Uh, just take the uh, tone knob and start turning it up until you get a little extra bite on the top end without it being like annoying. You don't want like anything searing uh, or too much, you know, just get that extra aggression, texture, and attack on the top end and find the sweet spot with it and leave it there. And with this amp, you can get away with that easily. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the tone knob to noon on the mud killer, play some riffs, and then I'll go ahead and crank it up to where I think it should be and show you the difference. <laughs> Now on my end, it sounded much better. A lot more texture on the top end and bite and aggression. You know, um, hopefully the YouTube compression doesn't hide that from you, but I can assure you if you do turn the tone knob up on whatever overdrive pedal you're using, you will find that it will add extra bite texture and aggression to this amplifier in particular and a lot of other amplifiers too. So the sweet spot I found with the tone knob on the mud killer with this amplifier is right around five o'clock. It just added a really nice bit of texture and aggression to the amp. I also think by doing this that your guitar tone will stand out better in a mix, whether it's live or in a studio, and your riffs will have a little more definition and clarity to them as well. Okay, so let's move on to tip number three. Turn the presence up a little bit. Don't leave it at noon like we do on most amplifiers. Get it around two o'clock. I'll show you the difference right now. So I'm gonna keep the amp boosted, and I'm gonna put the presence at noon. And then I'll turn it up until I get that really nice bite and attack on the top end. Well, as you heard, as soon as I turned the presence up to around two o'clock, the amp definitely came forward. It just 
brings it more forward. It adds a really nice attack on the top end, and I just really like how it sounded. You know, it just sounded a little brighter, but it's not too bright. So there's a couple of reasons why I'm pointing this out to you. A lot of people, when they dial in their amps, they just set their presence knob at noon and never touch it. And they figure in their mind, you know, they're kind of like, eh, if I turn it up too high, it's going to be too bright and thin, and I don't want that kind of sound. I get that. On a lot of amps, you can get away with it. But there are other amps out there, and the MT-15 is one of them, where it's a little on the dark side, and if you turn the presence knob up, it doesn't get overly bright. Just put it around, you know, 2 o'clock, and it just really adds that really nice top end to the amp and again brings it more forward and gives it a nice attack and a little more texture. All right, so let's move on to tip number four. Turn your treble up. Now in most amplifiers, we keep our treble anywhere between 11 and one o'clock, you know, because that's just the normal setting for it. But we have to get out of that mindset with this amplifier because again, it's a little on the dark side. And because of that, you can actually turn your treble up a little more than usual and maybe a little more than what your eyes are comfortable with seeing. But uh, I have my treble at almost 3 o'clock on this amplifier. I really do. So I'm going to go ahead and set it at noon and play some riffs and turn it up to the sweet spot. Well, that brightened the amp up just right, in my opinion, and I think it's going to stand out in the mix a lot better when you do it that way. And you're also going to get, just like with the presence knob, more texture, more aggression, and more attack, especially when you're doing the chugs and all that, too. It doesn't sound so muddy, you know? And so we did two unconventional things with this amplifier so far. We uh, cranked the presence higher than, you know, we usually do on most amplifiers anyways. And we got the treble higher than what we do on most amplifiers. So I'm going to go ahead and post a picture of all my settings right now so that you can see exactly how I have everything set up. So let's move on to tip number five. Don't be afraid to turn your gain up a little bit. Now I hear this all the time from various people on the internet. You don't need that much gain. You should turn your gain down. You know, uh, if you have your gain past nine o'clock, I mean, that's too much. It's like, dude, every amp different and not only does gain add a really nice you know aggression and texture to the amplifier and it really helps with the feel but it adds a fullness to it as well so if you turn it down too low it kind of chokes the amp out and it sounds like it's starving for air and it just sounds really thin and raspy so adding enough gain is very important i mean you don't want too much so it sounds messy but uh you want just enough. Now I use the high gain channel on this amplifier for both rhythm and lead. So I'm trying to find a sweet spot that will serve both purposes. I need a nice tight, chunky, crushing tone for rhythms, but when I do a lead, I want that extra sustain and saturation to kind of fill everything in and let my notes sing out longer. And I think I found the sweet spot with it. So let's go ahead and do the nine o'clock thing on the gain knob and bring it up to where I think it sounds best. And obviously we'll keep the boost pedal on because I boost all amps anyway. So that's just the way it is. Okay, that's nine o'clock and that just sounds really wimpy. There's just no saturation there. It's just super dry choked and it just doesn't sound very full so i'm going to go ahead and just incrementally bring it up and play some riffs and find the sweet spot <laughs> So I got it at top down center right now, and I think that's perfect for rhythms. I think it sounds great, but I want a little more saturation so that I can use the same channel for rhythms and leads. So if you're just a rhythm player, noon is perfect on this amplifier. It sounds really good. So don't be afraid to push it past nine o'clock and don't listen to all those 
freaking purists out there that, you know, they're, they're all gain shamers. <laughs> Put it up to noon and enjoy it, man, and slam it with an overdrive. It sounds chunky and full and aggressive. And you could probably even put it a little past uh, that setting too. And a lot of it depends on your pickups too. So if you have lower output pickups, you're gonna wanna turn the gain up a little bit more. Otherwise, it's gonna sound choked as well. So a lot of this depends on your pickups, your style of playing, your taste, the genre of music as well. So just keep all that in mind when you're dialing in your gain settings. So now let's just dial it in a little further and I'll just keep playing rhythms uh, so that I can make sure that I'm getting the saturation I want for leads, but the rhythms are staying uh, chunky and there's a good clarity there. Perfect. That sounds amazing and the feel was really good and I don't feel like I'm losing any clarity. So I have it around two o'clock. And to me, that just sounds and feels perfect, you know? So I can go and do rhythms or leads with those settings and get the best of both worlds. So hopefully that'll work for you as well. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you got something out of this video and I will be doing more videos like this in the future. I hope you enjoyed my multi-camera angles in this video. I finally got another camera that actually works really well alongside my other DSLR camera, which I'm looking at right now. So I bought a really nice camera that was supposed to be amazing a while back and it just did not match the quality that I'm using on my main camera here and it just looked like crap so uh, I had to wait a while and save up some money to get this new Sony camera and man it looks really good I'm really enjoying the different angles I can do I've been wanting to do multi angles for a long time and I finally am able to do that and now when I do gear uh, tutorials and uh, dial ins I can have a really good camera view on the amplifier and you can actually see the lettering on the amps <laughs> unlike my old ones with that crappy old camera that I used. Well, again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, to all my Patreon supporters and subscribers, thank you guys very much. I really appreciate you guys. And if you haven't subscribed, please do and click the bell so that you can be notified every time I come out with a new episode or go live. I mean, it's pretty much what I do here. I give you unprocessed audio. There's no EQ, no compression, no nothing on the mics. They're just put in the sweet spot on the cabinet and... I just give you raw guitar tones here so that you can get the real deal on what I'm dialing in here. All right, well, I got a lot of great stuff coming up, and I will see you on the next one. Multi-camera angle. Yeah, so there's another angle for you. Pretty cool, huh?